Good morning, my friends. It's Friday, February 16th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I have found something beautiful from the 800s, 860, they believe, on the border of Egypt and Sudan, what was then known as Nubia. This is a wall etching or painting of a Nubian woman protected by Saint Aaron, who was a from the 500s, a monastic. What an interesting painting. This beautiful dark-skinned woman who is being protected and shined upon by a monk saint. Clearly the role of women back then was more significant than it would later become. So this saint watches over her and protects her. We continue this morning our uh, Lenten practice with a reading from Paul's letter to the Philippians. And Paul is talking about these women, Eutych and Syncta fascinating names, are not getting along. And he says to them, my brothers and sisters, who I love and long for my joy and crown, I urge Eudo Eud Eudoia and I urge Syntic, great names, to be of the same mind in the Lord. I ask you to get along. And then he says this profound thing. By the way, this means that the early church, as soon as they knew about Jesus, they already started fighting. <laughs> so it gives me some hope because we're still fighting. It's got to be part of human nature. It doesn't mean that Jesus isn't with us. But then he says, one of my favorite quotes, and I used to put this below my signature on my emails. He says, finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. In other words, this battle with the darkness that takes place all over the world begins in your own mind. Don't fuel the negative thoughts. Focus on the good things, the positive. We recently had a man die who went through so much Clarence in his life, but he was always positive. He always was thankful, grateful. No matter what happened to him, he remained positive. Wouldn't that be a wonderful thing for people to say of you when you pass on? What if you look at all your thoughts and all the events of your life and you search for the good? Think on these things, Paul says, focus on these things. Focus on what is just and true and beautiful and right. Give that your energy. Everything wants your attention these days, the media. Give your attention to what is good. And in such a way, you will wield great power and influence in the battle between the light and the darkness. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for these powerful women of the early church. Whether they got along or not, clearly they were important to Paul and to this Saint Aaron. We thank you for their leadership and their presence in early Christianity. We ask you, Lord, to guide our thoughts today. Help us turn with grateful hearts to see what is good to think on those things that are right and just and true and not to dwell on the negative. We ask you to bless those who are sick. <coughs> That's just allergies. <laughs> those who are lonely, those who are dying, those who grieve and mourn. Especially today, I pray for Clarence as he makes his way to the Lord. We pray also for those who are homeless, incarcerated, or lonely in any way. And we ask you, Lord, to bring peace to this beautiful world. We thank you for the gift of this earth and all of its resources. Guide us to do your will today, Lord, 
and to be children of the light. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your Son, who loves us still. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.